Mortanius, my friend. Did you drink the herbal tea I prepared for you? Oh, look, here they come. Oh, begone, foul creatures. Oh, dear me. Come, Mardanius, I'll feed you the medicine myself. Doom and destruction! What? Huh? You! Oh, Thelion Hashnitor, the Lord of Decay! Oh, begone, foul demon! No, no, it's me, Lanilor. Oh, come, let me make you some more of that hot tea. I will not drink your foul brew, Thelion. Do you really think you can fool me? <laughs> Taste my power! <laughs> no, Mardanius, no! Oh, I shit. am Lanilor! Man, this dude does have power. He's like Frozen, dude. Crap. Hello, 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 and welcome to Divine Divinity. I'm Sir Jaxie, and I'm going to be hosting this incredible Let's Play series. This series is going to cover the entire Divinity franchise, which consists of Divine Divinity, Beyond Divinity, Divinity 2, Divinity Dragon Commander, and even the latest Divinity game out there. As they make more Divinity games, we will take and continue make them. That's right. It will not even end with Divinity Original Sin. If they make one after that, we'll keep this friend this let's play going. So what exactly is Divine Divinity? Well, Divine Divinity came out back on September 20th. Eon, yes, that should be on September 20th, 2002. So this game has quite a bit of age on it. So don't expect the graphics to be super quality. In fact, I apologize if this video series, uh, this Let's Play for Divine Divinity is less than my normal quality. I'm having to record it using OBS and doing a window capture rather than actually taking it, recording it through Playclaw 5 with a game capture simply because it doesn't use any of the software technology that these programs use to game capture. So, getting back to the game. The game is a RPG. If you were to look on Steam, the user-defined tags for it are RPG, isometric, fantasy, classic, and a few others. It's developed and published by Larian Studios, and it is a single-player RPG. That currently goes for $5.99 on both Steam and GOG.com. It is an extremely highly respected RPG. In fact, out of 131 reviews on Steam, there's only two negative reviews. That's a 1.5% negative review out of everything. On GOG, it has 4.5 stars out of 5 stars from 2,447 users. Quite a few users there think very highly of this game. Um, it was listed among the top 100 PC games of all times by PC Gamer in 2012. And basically, Divine Divinity is an epic role-playing game. It is a hack-and-slash action-style game. And it is just massive open world. So, moving on, let's take a quick look at our settings. This is the GOG version, so it does have a configuration uh, configuration setup tool. So I can take I am running it in 1920 by 1080. Even though if you look at the video under visual, all you get is your gamma and your darkness settings. And under performance, 
Well, all you get there is quality, Z-Tunnel, don't even know what that means, 3D Shadows and Fog, and we're going to go ahead and turn 3D Shadows and Fog on. Okay, but like I said, I was able to change the resolution settings within the setting configuration setting manager. Um, sound, it's got quite a few sliders for a game of this age for sound. You can set ambient. We're going to turn that down a little. Sound effects, we're going to turn those down too. Um, music. And voice. You can also choose to take and have comments on or off. For the game settings, Basically, you get verbose. I have no clue what that is. It can be on or off. And then you have your difficulty settings, which range from easy, normal, and hard. We're just going to play on normal. And then, of course, you can rebind your keys as well. Your key plate, toggling your key plate is Control F12. Open load plate is L, open save plate is S, open status plate is T, your inventory is I, etc, etc, and these can all be rebound if needed. Okay, so I think that covers all of the settings. So, what do you say we jump right into a new game and see what's going on? Now, there is... Three different classes we can choose from, male or female versions. I'm going to go with a female version, but let's listen and hear a little bit about what each class offers. They say there are only two ways of living for a poor girl on the streets, prostitution or starvation. I took the third way. I steal from the rich and give it all to my poor self. At least in this corrupt world, I'm a hero to myself. Okay. And that is the survivor. And we have... Who says men are stronger than women? I bested the village blacksmith at wrestling when I was 15 and killed my first man in a fair fight less than a year later. The land sickens. It needs a woman's strong hand to restore it. That is your warrior. And lastly, we have a mage. They call me a witch because I'm a woman, and an enchantress because I'm pretty. Damn them! I deserve as much respect as any male wizard. The land is sick, and in using magic to heal it, I'll earn their admiration. Now, I am going to play the female mage, and the only reason I'm going with a mage over a survivor... I want that. Yeah, survivor. They say there are only two ways of living for a poor girl on the street. They call me a witch because I'm a woman, and an enchantress because I'm pretty. Damn them! I deserve as much respect as any male wizard. The land is sick, and in using magic to heal it, I'll earn their admiration. Now, the reason I'm going with the mage over the survivor is simply because, well, she's got bow and arrow, and I like the bow and arrow, and so that's why. I think it's kind of interesting that a mage is carrying a bow and arrow. Yet, yeah, when we look at the male mage, a strong mind and a grasp he doesn't of magic, take and have needs to fight evil. any weapons other than a the ball thing he's gesture. got here. Such I don't know what I orb it is that he's using. The broken land. So, they call me let's go ahead and jump woman, right in. And an enchantress because I'm... Okay, so right off the bat, down here we see our auto map. We can toggle that on or off. Unfortunately, we can also move that around the screen wherever we want it. We have our diary, which gives us our quest. It gives us our map, shows us our trophies. Conversations and personal traits. 
Uh, this is really interesting. Our personal traits at level one, you are still wet of ear, back, and green of foot. You're not sure which bit of a sword to stick into an enemy, and you think crossing your fingers is a form of magic protection spell. You've got a lot to learn, kid. Strength 10? Frail old ladies beat you at arm wrestling and you would have trouble lifting a weapon, let alone fighting with it. Don't try to be a warrior. Agility is 10? You are as clumsy as an ox and are just as slow on your feet? The village healer believes you may have a severe glandular, glandular difficulty. Intelligence 15. Well, at least you might be able to get by on your looks and good nature. You have trouble reading and thinking for longer than a minute. You have trouble thinking for longer than a minute it gives you a headache. Intelligence 15. Well, at least you might be able to get by on your looks and good nature. You have trouble reading, and thinking for longer than a minute gives you a headache. Constitution is... Oops, went too far there. There we go. Constitution is a 10. You get severely puffed, walking slowly up several flights of stairs, and I think you get the point. We're basically not in very good shape. Okay. This pauses the game. Game paused. This lets me browse my weapon, which apparently I don't have any. Browse skills. We have our skills over here. We have bliss. Call upon the gods who grant you a blessing of the body. Current level 1, magic cost 6. We also have meteor strike. Cast your will into the heavens and bring forth a meteor to strike at your opponent, which is also a level 1. And we have our special move. We have our potions here, which we don't have any, so they're not showing up. This opens our inventory, which is pretty much empty. Okay, here's our skills. Our stats. Main menu. Oops. Resume. Why did I go there? Okay. Combat mode. Or not. This is our equipment. Nothing. And that's our inventory again. Okay. So let's. Oh, what I do? I pause the game. Okay. Resume. Oh, we're saving. Can't resume just yet. Okay, so I forgot we had to point to and click to go where we needed to. So let's look around the room. We have a chest down there. We have a healing potion here. Take the candle. Apparently that'd be a wall. Let's go open the chest. Oh, what's the chest contain? A pile of gold. We'll take that. Close the chest and go out the room. I wonder why we're starting out in like a basement. Nothing in the barrel. Container, nothing. There's nothing. Okay. So I guess we gotta go up the ladder. Okay. It's another chest. Nothing in it. Huh. Hmm. 
Okay, take the manuscript. Visitors are no longer coming to Eliot due to the gathering of or raiding parties in the woods. I'm of a mind that we should think to ask. Dear Jerem, visitors are no longer coming to Erloroth due to the gathering of ore raiding parties in the woods. I'm of a mind that we should think to ask the dual army for assistance. Surely it is just a matter of time before those foul orcs will attack the town. I did that wrong. Dear Jerem, visitors are no longer coming to Eloroth due to the gathering of orc raiding parties in the woods. I'm of my mind that we should think to ask the dual army for assist. Ah! Dear Jerem, visitors are no longer coming to Eloroth due to the gathering of orc raiding parties in the woods. I'm of a mind that we should think to ask the Dukal army for assistance. Surely it is just a matter of time before those foul orcs will attack the town. Regards, Lamillar. Okay. Mug of water, we'll go ahead and take that. Take the stone. I can't well, I guess that. we won't take the stone bottle. How about a mug of water? Another candle. Another mug of water. Plate. I'm not able can't to take use a plate. That. A new dirk. Says damage. We'll take that. Okay. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, cool. There's another potion. Healing potion. Take it. Can't take the stone bottle. Sorry, oh, I there's a book. That. Herbal medicine refers to the use of any plant, seeds, berries, roots, leaves, bark, or flowers unlisted for medicinal purposes. Using herbs is an ideal way to cooperate with our own immune, with our own inmate healing powers. Man, these things are hard to read because of the writing. Anyway, herbs may also, of course, be used to flavor food. Yes, of course they could. The elves use herbs to produce aromat aromatic, aromatic. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, aromatic oils for soap and fragrances, which are much in demand by human and dwarven aristocrats. Yeah. Okay, bookshelves contain one item. More money. Yay, pile of gold we'll take. This bookshelf contains two items. What are they? Books? It's a well-known fact that lizard people have a great affection for hot, spicy meals. An inheritance, uh, whatever. I think that's important. The northern section of the land of Revelon is dominated by four key localities: the Dukedom, Dukedom. Okay. Hopefully we'll get that information some other way here. Okay. I, I didn't take that. that. Jeez, lady. Ah, my friend. You're awake at last. How are you feeling? Let's see. Oh, who are you? How did I get here? My name is Joram. I'm one of the healers here. As to how you got here, well, it's an odd tale. Three days ago, while I was searching for some herbs on the edge of the forest, 
A small white cat drew my attention. I mean, it actually seemed to want me to go with it. I followed it cautiously and literally stumbled over your unconscious body. I immediately brought you back here. It was lucky for you that cat was watching out for your interests a little longer, and you'd have been food for the kites. Okay. My thanks for saving my life, such as it is. I'm in your debt, friend. You're welcome. And don't be glum, whatever your problems are. If I hadn't found you when I did, with the help of good fortune and a cat, you'd be stone dead by now. We healers have a saying. As long as you've breath, you've reason to be happy. Interesting. Over here it shows who we're talking to. We can trade with them. History or clothes. But let's find out what it is this place. You're in my house in Alaroth. A small community of healers. In normal times this place would be bustling with activity. But things have been rather quiet. Due to the recent troubles. And what are these troubles you are talking about? You mean apart from the orc bandits infesting the woods and the fact that we've lost contact with the source? Well, our leader, Mardanius by name, seems to have gone, how should I put it? Well, uh, he seems to have gone as crazy as a loon. Mardanius is crazy? Yes, that's the only way to put it. He's constantly raving about dark chambers and evil spirits, and he thinks everybody is a servant of the dark powers. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he's been possessed by a demon. Of course, uh, that can't be true. Nobody has gone down with possession in, in centuries. Dark chambers? Evil spirits? Well... That does sound like a demon in his head, all right. Look, why don't I repay my debt to you by putting the old boy out of his misery? Yeah, no. Let's go with number one. That's strange indeed. Is there anything I could do to help Mardanius? Well, that's good of you, my friend. And I don't want to sound rude, but we are, after all, professional healers. If we can't help him, I doubt a simple adventurer could do better. Then again, so far all our efforts of curing him have failed, and the man is in constant mental pain. Maybe strange illnesses must be cured by strange methods. Uh, where can I find him? Follow the street outside my house, a little bit to the south, and then go west. His house is next to the old well. Yeah, let's see if this guy has anything to trade. Considering that, you know, all the gold we have has come from him. Yeah, okay. Minor healing. Those are 69. Got 145. No, that's the weight. I only have 31. <laughs> oh, okay. Minor shadows. These are minor shadows. Doesn't tell me. Of gold, 51 now. Okay, so nothing to trade. Okay, so we need to follow the street, go to the south, and then go west. Okay. Uh, before you go, I couldn't carry your belongings with me when I brought you here. Feel free to take anything you find necessary from my house. <laughs> we healers believe in sharing what we have with the needy. Uh, thank you, my friend. Oh, you're very welcome. You can always repay me later, if you feel in my debt. Perhaps you should pay George a visit. He has a small shop and could provide you with some basic gear for a reasonable price. But I'm sure an adventurer like yourself will find ways of making enough money, even here in poor Alabama. And where does George live? 
He lives in the southeast of the village, near hey, the gate. Thanks again. Goodbye. Okay, so does this guy have anything else around here for me to take? Blue flask. I'm not able to use that. I'm not able to use that. What's this? Another manuscript. Dear Durham, I know that I still owe you 500 gold pieces, but I simply don't have the means to pay you back at the present time. Since the orcs started riding, raiding woods around Elleroth, I've only had a trickle of customers. Money is tight for the everyone. These days, I suppose. Dear Durham, I know that I still owe you 500 gold pieces, but I simply don't have the means to pay you back at the present time. Since the orcs started raiding woods around Elleroth, I've only had a trickle of customers. Money is tight for everyone these days, I suppose. Please be patient a little bit longer until the Ducal army comes to clean out the woods and trade revives again. And I promise to return your kind loan with interest. Thank you. Warmest regards, George. Okay, so we got diary. We got a new quest, it seems. First day. Restore madness. Restore Mardanius's sanity. It seems that the healer Mardanius may have been possessed by a demon. I must find out why this fellow behaves so strangely. And here's all of our conversations that we've had. Which is nice to be able to go back to. And of course our personal traits still suck. Okay, anything else anywhere? How about a candle? Why can't I take the candle? Huh. There we go. Oh, I can't take this candle. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe I put them out. I don't know. How about lamp? Uh, all I did was put the lamp out. Okay. Off we go. Okay. So now we're outside. Mardanius, my poor old friend. What are you doing outside? Oh, 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 it's you, Lanilor. I, I was... Oh, he will come. The end is upon us. Shilloy, you're raving, Mardanius. You must take more rest. Come, let me take you home. But Nemesis is near. We must be vigilant. We must be pure. We must um, behave. Oh... What did you say, Lanilo? Rest? Oh, yes, I could try to sleep. If only the voice in my head would be silent. Interesting. They even had cutscenes back in games that are 13 years old. Pretty interesting, huh? See if there's anything in these barrels. Contains nothing. Contains nothing. Nope. Nothing in the barrels. Anything else around here that we might need? Boulder. I don't think I need a boulder. Ooh, mushrooms. Let's go take some mushrooms. Not 
I guess I can't take the mushrooms. Why not? Huh, weird. So, we're supposed to be following the road to the south. So, I guess we'll do that. What is this? Oh, there's a sign. Let's go read the sign. Beware! Dangerous dwarf to the north. Signed, Lanelor. Huh. Interesting. What's in this house? A house or a shed? Don't see a door. Still can't seem to pick the mushrooms. No doors yet. There's a door. Go in here and see what's around here. Two items. Okay. A worn wooden buckler. And a broken wooden buckler. Well, let's go ahead and take those for now. Plants. Lots of plants. Nothing, nothing. Banner? Let's look at... Hey, we took the banner. How about that? Oh no, we just... Ah, that's pretty cool. Up and down, oh well. Two items over here. A book and bread. We'll take the bread. I say about the book, cooking recipes too. Find spices for all foods. Okay, not to worry about that. Here's another book. What's this book say? Lavender is more than a decorative and aromatic spice space filler in a garden. Okay, so it talks a little bit about lavender. There's a bed. I need to rest somewhere else. I don't want to be caught unaware by the owner of this bed. Okay. So basically, there's not a whole lot going on in this little fancy shack, whatever you want to call it. What the heck? Oh, gloves. Not identified, huh? Let's open up our inventory. See what we can do with these gloves. Weapons, miscellaneous, that's where our money is, armor, hey that closed my inventory darn it, so I can't equip these, no, nope, that I can equip though, Okay, so let's see, how do we do this? Open stats? Is that what we want? No. Main menu? No. Combat mode? No. Equipment? There we go. Oh, so the buckler automatically goes on. Well, why didn't the gloves go on? No, nope, I can't put the gloves on. Pretty interesting. This is a worn wooded buckler. 40 durability, 3 of 7. Durability. Oh, that's why that one's not on. Okay. So, moving on. Oh, what is that? Wait a minute. Finished meal. 
to heck the finished meal. Sorry, I can't what about use the that? water though. That I can take. Okay, out the door we go. Oh, I can take the rake. It's like a staff, it says. Do I equip it? Because right now I have a Dirk that's equipped, which does 5 to 16 damage. Yet, if I... Weapons, I have the rake, which says 1 to 6. And uh, we'll stick with the dark. Well, no, no, I want to move this. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what else we can find around here. No door there yet. Oh, is that him? Mortanius, my friend. Did you drink the herbal tea I prepared for you? Oh, look, here they come. Oh, begone, foul creatures. Oh, dear me. Come, Mortanius, I'll feed you the medicine myself. Doom and destruction. What? Huh? You! Oh, Thelion Hashnitor, the Lord of Decay! Oh, be gone, foul demon! No, no, it's me, Lanilor. Oh, come, let me make you some more of that hot tea. I will not drink your foul brew, Thelion. Do you really think you can fool me? <laughs> Taste my power! <laughs> no, Mardanius, no! Oh, I am shit. Lanilor! Man, this dude does have power. He, like, froze the dude. Crap. Okay, and that's where we're headed. Okay. Well, let's go check out, see if there's anything here first. There's a wooded well. Uh-oh. Crap. I didn't want to come down here. The hell was I thinking? Whoa! The door appears locked. Oh, cool! I just took out a skeleton. Cool. Saw something. Gold? Awesome. Hey, pick up the gold. No, 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 no. Stop. The heck? Okay. We gotta come out combat mode and pick up the gold. I'm not able to use that. Emerald. Awesome. Uh, let's go back into combat mode. No. Combat mode. Sorry, I can't use that. You can't use that. Whatever. Anything else around here? Broken bottles. No. Nothing. 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 They don't contain anything. Rotted food. Okay. Well, maybe it was a good thing we came down the well after all. Who knows? Can't walk that way.
Anything in this barrel? No, it's nothing. More boxes that have nothing in them. Okay. Well, we got a couple of things that looks like that might be worthwhile. Weird thing to be a well to have a, you know, whole underground setup like this. That's kind of odd. Keep trying to zoom in and I keep remembering that this game doesn't have a zoom in. It's not quite that new. This is what you get. Of course, this type of game, you don't play so much for the graphics as you do for... I can't use that. You play it for the story more than anything. We attack it. I'm not able to use that. Darn it. Oh, well. I wonder where are in these packages. Yeah, that looks like everything that was down here for now. So we'll go on up the stairway, back up to the town, and let's go see if we can't find the crazy dude. The crazy dude, the crazy dude. Up oh, here's Linalar. Oh, stranger, please rescue me from this icy prison. It's getting too c -c cold to, to bear. How can I help you? Only Mardanias can negate such a powerful spell. You'll have to get into Mardanius's house and convince him to rescue me. Well, please, I think I'm the dying. Seven gods, do you think I'm a fool? I know better than to strike up chats with bad magicians. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll be the good guy. Whoa, I can see you're freezing to death, friend. Hang on there. I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, let's go try finding Mardinius. Okay, the door's locked. This door is locked tighter than a dwarf's ale purse. So we got to figure out how to get in here now. Honey rack. Can't take the honey rack either, darn it. Okay, how to make the most of honey. Part 1, Chapter 1, The Suite of the Gods. Sweat of the Gods, sorry. Uh, common knowledge, first thing you do. All these beehives. Is there a way around the back of the house? Do, do, do. Guess not. Let's go up here and see if there's a way in through the back. Got to be something around here.
Darn it. Is there something in one of these beehives? There's got to be a key somewhere. We just have to find it. My money's on the beehives. We talk to him again. Does he tell us anything else? No. Okay. What's in the washing tub? Is the key in there? We'd hate to have to start destroying the beehives. Doesn't seem to be. Okay, so... Let's see what happens if we destroy a beehive. Nothing. I can't attack the beehives. Damn it. So where the hell's the key? Oh, this is ridiculous. Where the... there he is. Why can't I move this boulder? I don't think I can, but... I can't use that. I'm not yeah, able to use that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, well. There's got to be something. It's got to have something to do with the well. Let's go back down there. His house would be this way, but there was nothing over here. It's kind of dead ended right here. Did I miss something down here? I sure did. Look at that. Whoa, key. The key right there. Yes. Okay, well, let's go see what's over here. Superb. Oh, that key opened that door, not the house. Okay. Packages, rotted food, broken bottles, nothing of any real use. Rotted food, but there's a ladder. Okay, we're going to actually save the game before we go up the ladder. Well, okay, we're still level one, by the way. We're going to be wrapping up here shortly because we've been playing now for almost an hour, so. Okay. 
Okay, let's go up the ladder. And we're in the old dude's house. How about that? Here he comes to attack us. Cutscene. Okay. Hold on. Um, do I know you? How? What are you doing in my house? No, you don't know me. I got in through those stinking cellars that smell of boiled cabbage. Lanelor asked me to ask you to unfreeze him. You see, he's getting rather cold. Boiled cabbage? Ah, the taste of... <gasps> You're not an agent of Thaler... Theliron Hashnitar, are you? I'll destroy you, creature of darkness. Where's that spell? No, no, no. Lanelor, you know, your elven friend, pointy ears? He needs your help. You've frozen him, and now he would like to be unfrozen. What's that smell? What? Lanelor? Lanelor? Where is he? Lanelor? Speak up, stranger. I'll have you know that I control mighty magic and can kill with but a word. Is that boiled cabbage I smell? Ugh. He's just outside. Please calm down a bit. I guess I don't get a chance to rob this dude. Oh well. Best we unfreeze Lanalor. Thank you, stranger. I thought I was never going to get out of that prison. Brr. My feet are still numb. Seven gods, my toes have gone blue. Let me rub them. Uh, it hurts. The blood is returning. Uh, uh, that is better. Now, what I can do for you? Oh, my benefactor. Are you all right? Oh, don't worry about me. I am already feeling better. We elves recuperate fast, you know. The first thing you do know now is find a way to help Mar Mardanus. The man is raving, and it's only a matter of time before he starts hurling destruction spells at shadows or passerby. Passersby. Look what he did to me if you don't believe what he is capable of in this state. Well, what's wrong with Mardanus? I'm not sure. He started behaving like a madman several days ago. Since then, it's only been getting worse. Some of the healers here believe he's possessed by some demon. I simply don't know. A demon, you say? Aye. It's not as far-fetched as it sounds. It's only recently that some healers have ceased to believe in demons. But, intellectual fashions aside, Hellspawn do exist. Fortunately, they are also very rare in this world. Mardanus is constantly muttering mysterious things about his personal things. And his personality has changed dramatically. Those are typically signs of demonic possessions. Galald Fingal. Is there something that can be done to save Mardanus? Well, if the demon theory holds water, the catacomb beneath Alaroth may provide a clue. They'd been there but They'd be the most likely source. Places of the dead are spiritually closer to the non-corporeal realms, such as hell. What are the catacombs you mentioned? Only a few people hereabouts know it, but there's a huge cavern system running beneath our feet at Eloroth. Some of it is an ancient dwarf working, but most of it natural. Several years ago, Mardanius went and explored down there. 
alone. When he came back, he sealed the entrance and warned us not to go down there ourselves. He wanted to tell us about what he found down in those pits, but whatever it was, it scared him. He once mentioned old catacombs and evil spirits to me, but he would say no more. So how do I get into the catacombs? I've only discovered about that recently, during one of his trances. Mardonius mumbled something about the catacombs and facing all the dragons to the north. Other than that, I'm afraid I have no idea. Well, what can you tell me about Alaroth? Mardonius founded the healer community of Alaroth. His goal was to unite healers of all the races so that we might further our skills with mutual studies. Can you heal me? Okay, healing will cost you 150 gold. Never mind. When I have more questions, I'll return to you. Dude, where are you going? I have questions. Okay, so... Our diary's obviously been updated. Okay, so it seems... Past Demon... Unlocking the entrance to the catacombs beneath Elrond. First day, quest has been solved. Rescue Lenoir, the elf from his icy prison. So we took care of all that stuff. Got a pretty good map going on here. Okay. Trophies. Gelda Warrior, one kill. Still haven't got up a level. It's a nice thing about these older games. They take a while for you to level up. Okay. So, we're going to stop here. And we're going to save the game. I hope you've enjoyed playing along with us. And if you have, by all means, I'd appreciate if you could go ahead and give us, you know, a thumbs up down there below that would be great you know a like whatever they call them thumbs up like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet well you've been here for almost an hour watching and listening I must have got your interest somewhere so why don't you take it go ahead and subscribe you know find out when the next episode of Divine Divinity comes out so, this is end of episode one, and I hope you've enjoyed it, as I said. I do lots of gameplays like this. Hopefully, I'll be putting out Divine Divinity episodes once a day, maybe once every other day. I'm also doing a complete playthrough of the Mass Effect franchise, and if I can get the recording to work right. I'm also going to be doing a complete playthrough on the Gothic franchise. Um, so if you're interested in those, go ahead and you know, subscribe to the channel. Put it on auto notification so you get email when a new video goes up. I also take and do first looks at a lot of the newer games coming out as well as you know the older games. I like older RPGs. I really enjoy them, and I think I've got to focus on a lot of the older RPGs. Maybe not as old as Divine Divinity, but I'm going to be doing two... I'm going to be doing between two and four Let's Plays at a time. I plan on putting out at least a video a day, possibly two videos a day, if I could keep up on that schedule. So, anything else you want to know about the channel, me, leave me a comment, ask what you want. 
I will be telling you, I do have health problems, so I can't guarantee that the content will be regular, but I'm going to do the best I can. Until next time, this is Sir Jaxie, fading out.